Hello Shell Buddies and welcome back to the channel. This week's video is a special one. We're going to be doing a recap of the Come Shell With Me event that was on August the 1st where we went to Fort DeSoto to find sand dollars and then over to Pass a Girl to find some more shells. Let's get right into it and check out all the fun we had. We had such a great time out there. of the northernmost parking lot and since one of these pavilions is taken for a party and the other one could potentially be rented we are going to set up the shibumi blue and white over on the beach where the kind of close to where that green and blue one is okay full disclosure i made the shibumi it's not a shibumi brand one it's one i made myself you'll see hi seagull there's one of the red herons over there. See the red on the top of them? Then we got a little egret over here. A little spoonbill over there. So there's always cool little birds. And there's always little guppies in here. I see that. There they go. And it's warm. I mean. And then when all the when the tide goes all out, most of this dries right out. That is not refreshing. That's warm. A little, yeah. a little shallower, a little warmer. So I was like, oh. what? Pick it up. I'm trying. I don't know what it is. It's a dolphin. Yeah. It is. There you go. <laughs> put, put them in your bag. Michelle, if we find you a cool shell out here, I'll make you a necklace with it. <laughs> this is a nice... Since the beach is so big, this is nice. It's not crowded. Yeah. You know, you go down to like our beaches and they're just loaded, you know? That's part of the reason I like coming here. You come here early in the morning, in the middle of the week, I ain't a soul. You pretty much own You beach. got the place to yourself. Yeah, this is pretty quiet right here. I like it here. I love DeSoto. I think this is one of the best places to come, really. If you want to spend the day on the beach, I mean, this place has got it going on, right? Well, let's see. How close do we want to get? Tide's on the way out, so wherever we set up, the later it gets, the farther we got to walk. See that little tuft of grasses like right in front of me where those birds are? That looks like an excellent place to set up. This look good? Yeah. Looks great. 
Fairly flat, fairly close to the water. You ready? I'm ready. This is pretty cool, actually. Here's the pictures I was sending to everybody as they messaged me on how to find us once we were at DeSoto. Since one of the pavilions was taken, I set up the tent out here with John and Dan and Michelle out on the sand so people could find us a little easier out here. Now, I was having some problems with my camera that day. I'm having an overheating issue with this GoPro for some reason. And all of my footage, when everybody was arriving and introducing themselves, is gone. It's not even on the card. I found like a half of one file and it was full of all these blackout frames. So unfortunately, I don't have video of anybody saying hello and introducing themselves. But we do have a lot of video of everybody out in the water having a good time. Let's go take a look. Hello. Thank you. Trina, hi. <laughs> hello. And we've got lots of folks out here for the shelling event today. Taking a look for sand dollars and enjoying beautiful Fort DeSoto North. That is a uh, juvenile version of a giant Atlantic cockle. Pretty. When they're full size, they get about that big. They call them beach bowls. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Now we may find sand dollars this way. That Maybe not because a lot of people sh look right here because it's straight out. Okay, here we go, you guys. That's a good sign. That's a piece of one. Right there. Um, the ones we want are the dead ones. They'll be whitish colored or kind of like this darker grayish color. The live ones are like a purple brown and they will stain your hands. All right, come on, sand dollars. What have we got here? Oh, a rip off of a fighting comp. Not whole, but that's okay. Where there's one, there's more. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Seriously, this place, Passagrill, Shell Key, and Egmont Key are like my top picks for going anywhere. Right over there is Egmont. Off that way. Yeah, out of the uh, where the boat launch is, Hubbard's Marine. Hubbard's Marine to get to Egmont will cost you 45. To get to Shell Key, I think will cost you 30. And you go out for like Anna Maria, but it costs more, right? Oh, way more from Anna Maria. It's way cheaper to come from here at DeSoto. And the folks at Hubbard's are good. Like they're super nice. I've gone out with them a bunch of times. Hey, all right, cool surf clam. Hi, Trina, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Oh gosh. You're, oh, so you're the one that was coming from Gainesville. Oh my golly, how was your drive down? You know what? Tell her she should save her energy for Passive Grill. Right, she just playing yep. here. Perfect. She's not much of a shower, she just wants some of these. Oh, right on. This is a good one to come to. This is, like, seriously, one of my favorite little parks. I love it up here. All right, now, I've been finding pieces of sand dollars, so we can't be that far from them. But look in the water and the sand a little ways down. Shuffle your feet a little bit in case you need to scare any stingrays away, but I've literally never seen them here. Ooh, old Sunray Venus. That should clean. <laughs> There's another piece of the sand dollar. We're getting closer, guys. See that? We're getting closer. Half a sand dollar. Oh. 
More pieces. We got to be getting close. Well, usually this spot right here at the beach access does get thinned out first because that's where everybody walks right in and starts looking. Yeah. See where the waves are kind of breaking where that crowd mm -hmm. of people is up there? That's where I usually head to. And normally I find fistfuls and fistfuls of them. And it doesn't matter what time of the year because there's a huge bed that stretches from above Shell Key all the way down to Longboat. All right, some surf clams. Here we go. Nice. Right on. Now on the East Coast, they'll get these ones that look like arrowheads. But ours are a five hole keyhole sand dollar. Your chances are your chances a little further up here are good. Your chances at Pasha Grill are really good. Is that one hole or is it full of holes? <laughs> oh, full of holes. Bummer. There's usually bunches of them out here though. I'm seeing sand dollar pieces all over the place too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get in deeper water. Oh, broken sunry Venus. Pieces and pieces of sand dollars. Where are the whole ones? Where are the whole ones? Ooh. Take a gem of that. That's the sand dollar. This one was worth. I had a nice banded Venus, but I dropped it. I might have picked it up. Did it look like that? Uh, so I think it might have been I bigger thought, than that. Oh, they get pretty big up here, actually. Nice. There you because go. This could be the box. Because I make jewelry holders and I glue these parts together. I glue oh, really? Right together. Cool. And they hold the jewelry. I put. A lightning bolt, but sometimes a conch in the middle of it that stands up, and I do the cells around it. Right on. And this sits on the bottom to hold it up. Right on. Yeah, take a look because stuff is like half buried out here. Oh, and coats, awesome. The only trouble is you can only go out there for 20 minutes. I took a whole big boat ride out there and then I only got to spend a half hour shelling. Oh no, we take the jet skis. Oh, there you go. They do also, Odyssey does a once a month in the wintertime cruise to Anclote where you get two hours on the island. Yeah, we just take, take, the, take the jet skis down, make it a day. Oh, just a piece of one of these guys. 
I would love a jet ski. In, in my younger days, I used to love jet skiing, but you know, bad back, spinal fusion, all that junk. Yep. Don't get out on the skis much don't anymore. Don't go fast. Ah. You just move on them. Not, well, I go fast. <laughs> I finally found my sand dollar. <laughs> well, he's missing his middle, but I did. <laughs> That's all right. There's plenty more of them. The further up we go, the more we'll find. Dan and Michelle look like they might have found a few things. They're sitting there on the bottom checking stuff out. <laughs> Ooh, piece of a lightning log. Very nice. I would absolutely use that if you don't want it. Heck yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful piece. Right on. Totally Look at all the folks we got out here doing this. This is so fun. Three sand dollars. A bunch of shells. Awesome. Good job, dude. Way, way, way over there. Nothing put them in your right. Well, um, in my backpack, there's those little bags. Grab one. My black mesh backpack. My keys are in it. A pair of shorts is in it. My GoPro things in it. And them little shell bags, I think, are in there. A couple of them. Yeah. Another one. Very nice. Okay, now this, if you put this in a bowl with hydrogen peroxide, and let it just sit outside in the sun for a little bit, all that yellowy, yucky stuff will come right oh, off yeah. of there, and it'll all lighten up. Oh yeah, a lot of surf clams here. This is a good spot for those. I like them for Christmas ornaments. Nice. I'm having a great time. Are you having fun on this? You having a good time? Mwah, yep. love you. Picking up $10. Righteous, righteous. Okay. Oh, what'd you guys find? We always left live critters. A live crown conch with a critter. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. That's so cool. Very cool. Still there. Yeah, he's still in there and his operculum is right there and intact. Yeah, I didn't Very know. nice. All right. You know what? These guys like the this mucky stuff a little bit. I want to put a little hole. I'm going to tuck him right in there. And he can be happy. Yep, he's going to be happy. Oh, that's okay. I'll oh, throw him out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> nice work. Nice little paired coquina too. That's really cute. I found one too. He found one too. And then I found one of the big ones, like the first one I found. Awesome. Nice work. Everybody's picking up a good bit of stuff I see. That's excellent. Look at that one. That's a nice bay scallop. There's a bunch of those here. And the surf clams. And see as we're getting up a little farther now, we should be getting into more sand dollars even more now. I mean, literally thousands of them here. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Oh, we found... I come up here one day and found like 200 and something of them and 150 made a home unbroken. Wow. Look at this guy. Oh, nice, nice. That is the outside edge of a moon snail right there. Ooh. So they do get pretty big Very around cool. here. You know me, I'll cut that up and make something out of that. I know, that's why I wonder how much it's worth. It's because you just, it's so inspiring. I, I would usually throw some of that stuff back, but now I say I could use it. Well, I think the difference between my channel and some of the others is 
I shell like vacation people shell. I carry home something that looks nasty and crusty because I'll just take my Dremel to it. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Like, well, I show what to do with that afterwards. Yeah, like I like I like showing what I make out of it. And I love that part. To me, that's like the whole reason I started the channel. Really, I'm pretty good about remembering where I got most of this stuff, but I, I do have to. I have to put it in bags and write it down, and then after I do my pull shell pouring dump and make stuff then it all goes into a tote which i have a one of those 30 gallon household totes underneath my shell station that is over brimmed right now with shells that need to be sorted muriatic acid cleaned all kinds of stuff but you know what christmas is coming so i gotta get my butt cracking yeah there's nice. a sailor's ear he's a little broken out of the middle and he's pretty lightweight so he won't hold up to processing but that is what you're looking for for a sailor's ear there, girls. And there's a piece of a broken banded tulip right there, too. Oh, I love the banded tulips in my face. All right, if you love banded tulips, Facet Girl is your jam, girl. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait. Live crown conk. We actually just put him back in the stand, but I guess we didn't put him back deep enough. All right, I'm going to leave those there. Oh, what did you find? I, I've never seen before. I love weird. Show me weird. I love weird. <laughs> All right, that is a giant Atlantic cockle that is completely encrusted with barnacles and little oysters. And this is exactly the kind of thing I would take my Dremel to. <laughs> that's cool. I, I thought it was cool. Yeah, was that's bad. really cool. Especially since it was uh, pretty much intact. Yeah. And actually, a bunch of the girls are picking up uh, quite a few of those, those beach bowls, those giant Atlanta cockles. We do have a number of them up here. We'll find, and there's a surf clam there. That's what that guy is. This one? Yep. I and those, I found a bunch of those get pretty big. I use those for like Christmas ornaments. I've been, oh, look at the little live coquina burying himself. Look at, there he goes. Oh, I love those guys. They're so cute to watch. Aww. And they're a sign of the health of the beach. Like when you see lots of coquinas all over the place, it means the beach is really clean and healthy. Yep, they are a good thing. I keep I keep finding broken sand dollars. I've only found one whole one so far, but one small one. We're getting closer to where we should be finding more of them anytime now. And lots of pieces of broken fighting conch around here too. So a few of those should start showing up. And then when we hit past a girl, we should find tulips, these big beach bowl shells, uh, apple murexes, fighting conchs, possibly horse conchs. I've found a number of small ones up there. So yeah, pass it, and it'll have scallops all over. Pass it girl's fun. Oh, is this one of my purple guys? Oh, I love these guys. Really? Yeah. Very Put cool. The water. I've never seen one live. Look, there's one of my little purple shells I like, babe. Yep. The little muscle. Now, what is that? I don't know. What? Whoa. That is a giant live crown conch right there, everybody. He is. I saw just the bottom of this and I thought maybe it was like a chestnut turban. And I went to pull on it, I'm like, no, it's bigger. But I did not know it was gonna be a huge crown conch like that. That's awesome. Really nice. And see their sides, they've got like that speckling on the sides. They're very cool. They're a little less spicy than the, the fighting cons who will take their old perculum and swing it at you. Like. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're really saucy, those guys. But this is beautiful though, really nice. And he was in there kind of down. I'm gonna go ahead and bury it back in the sand. We'll see you later, Bubba. All right, I'll put you back. I'm sorry for bro breaking up your date. Go eat, have a good time. Awesome. <laughs> I like the live ones just as much as finding the shells, honestly. Yeah. It's so funny. We're in the shell water in the plants. 
because some of them, we find them alive up here. Ooh, I see a nice summer Venus clam too. Oh, it's broken. Ah. Uh-oh. You didn't give it to Michelle to bring up, did you? No, she, uh, she left before I found it. I just found it a couple minutes ago. Well, I've got a, a sand dollar container. You can put it in mine if you like. Oh, wait, where is it? Oh, okay. For a panicky second, I thought I left it back under the tent. <laughs> I got it. It is in my pocket. You got it? You want to put it in here? Oh, nice. Oh, no. Is it alive? Oh. Well, let's play with them for a minute. I love live critter encounters. Look how beautiful that is. Nice banding on that, really, honestly. He's gorgeous. Hello, live critter. Woo! -hoo. The water will knock you right over. Oh, that's a beauty, Dan. Yeah, it's gorgeous, it's eh? It's gorgeous, yeah. Well, keep an eye out, because where there's live ones, there's going to be shells, too. Oh, poor guy. Oh, they'll be all right. I got him buried in the sand, too. Yeah, we had that giant crown conch I just picked up a second ago. Oh, crown conch? Was it alive? Oh, yeah, and that thing was like that big. It was humongous. Crap, eh? There, I found this one. You know, oh, nice. Yeah. All right, that we should put in the container so you don't get Michelle broke. Michelle will run it back for me. You sure? Yeah, she'll run it back. I just I have, it all by my, <laughs> I have it all by its lonesome in one little sole front pocket. You know what I end up doing? I put them in my pockets and then I forget and I bend over and I break them. So I started bringing a container. Nice work, She's you like, guys. too far to go back over there. I'm like, well, I know it's far. Well, you gotta go back that way to get back to the car. <laughs> well, she's going back and forth with Michelle. <laughs> oh, I told her to grab one of the extra little bags out of my big bag. Oh, that's an arc. It's a ponderous, ponderous arc. Look here, this is a cohog. I found some of those. That's cool too. Nice. That's a little fighting conch. Oh. It makes me so happy people are finding stuff and having fun. Ooh, that's pretty. Take that home. Gosh, there's pieces of stuff everywhere. Oh. Sunray Venus. Ooh. Hey, hey. All right. Ooh, sand dollar. Ooh. Oh. I think it's broken, but could be a shadow box sand dollar. Uh oh. Just dropped my cohab clam. Where did that go? Okay. Where do we get to pass a girl? Uh, yes, please. I love me some moon sail. I love the moon. Oh, I have a nice eye on it, too. Nice black colors. Heck yeah, I'm going to take a girl. Yeah, put that back with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. If we were big enough and that we'd have dinner. Show me again. Please do. Oh, I walked right past. Nah, no, hi. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. He can stick. I know he can stick. <laughs> well, what if you just bring it onto up there? Okay, well, here, I'm going to pick this one up there. Oh, we're getting into them now. 
Yeah, we're in the right spot now. Here. I got to find one now. That's the cool part. <laughs> and keep that one, babe. The one that's broken. Because I'll break it and I'll show everybody the little dove thing if you're in there. Oh, the little angel. Yeah, the, the five doves of peace. I do. He thought he had one for you. I thought I had yeah. one for you. I know, you were showing me before. It. But yeah, they're in here. We just keep coming across them. Look right here. I don't know if it's tall or not. Right in front of my cane. There you go. It's a piece. Kind of feel around it. Okay. Oh. But you taught me how to like feel around it a little bit to kind of... What's this? This is one. Right there. Oh, almost. Yeah it's, yeah. it's three quarters of a dollar. That's you got 75 bet. cents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're getting now we're getting to where we should be finding them more often too. I see pieces all over the place. So there we're here. We're in the right spot. And you might just only see a little bit of it sticking out. Is this one? No. That's a little white surf clam. I keep wanting to go out because that's where you said they're kind of deep around, but I feel like the ones we saw were shallow. Well, and they move around. I mean, they get washed in, they get washed out, but basically there's a giant bed of them that stretches from above Shell Key to down by where Longboat is, okay. at least. So there's always usually this is like my come-to place for sand dollars, like... That is off an enormous whelk. Yeah. That would be about that big. Wow! That is a big That's monster so whelk cool. piece, yep. I don't know what to do with it. Big old whelk piece. They're hard to do anything with unless you just want to paint it and set it on the shelf for bait deposit, because they're really thick and they're tough to cut. Oh, yeah. You need like a tile saw with a big blade. Oh, no, Oh. Oh. That'll be so cool. He picked up a monster horse con, like three oh. feet away from where the waves are breaking. I mean, geez, huge, 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 huge. You having some luck over there? Oh boy. Well, let's take a look at them. Oh, if his legs are moving, he's yeah, still alive, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, and be careful because don't hold them too long, they'll dye your hand yellow because they they give off like a, an iodide, bromide kind of oh, yeah. substance. Nice. What have we here? Oh, there's one right in front of me. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he was in the water down over there. See his head just poking out right there? He's still looking for sand dollars. And if you, you know, like, here you can snorkel. Pass a grill. Ah, uh, it's pretty sketch, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. And as well as I know the area and as often as I'm up there, I still wouldn't do it. That, if that tells you anything. What's this? Ah. And a little elegant docinia. <laughs> Another beach bowl, very cool. There's a docinia for you. Oh, I'm seeing another sand dollar. There it is. Oh, the wave hit my hand and it broke. Uh huh. Well, we can see the little peace doves though. The little babies coming out. These are what's called the Aristotle's lantern. And there's one there. Yes, five of them. They're in between where these things are. Mm -hmm. So they'll come out of there. But there's two of them. Yep. Since we already got this guy broken, we might as well break more. Mm -hmm. There's number three. There's number four. And then the other one must be in here. Yep, there it is. There's number five. 
And there's your five little doves apiece. All right. There you go. And we'll just, you know, leave those. <laughs> we'll leave those here. Well, I don't know if that one's broken, but there's one there. There's another one there. Yeah, we're in the zone now. We're in a good spot now. Now, right about at this point, the battery that I had in my camera that was working went dead. So I lost footage of being able to find some of the cooler stuff that I found on the beach as we were leaving Fort DeSoto and heading on our way out to pass a grill. But I found some pretty nifty stuff out there. Let's go take a look. I didn't want to do a dump because I had so many little shells and I didn't want to lose them. Kind of had to mix in my bag here. But this is what got brought home from our Come Shell With Me event at Fort DeSoto North and pass a grill. Wow, so the Fort DeSoto portion of this was pretty fun. Everybody was successful in finding sand dollars and a bunch of really neat stuff. Wonder what else we're gonna go find. Let's hop over over to Passit Grill and check out the beach over there and see what we see next. Um, yes, I would love Gatorade, yes. Oh, and it's nice and cold. All right, so, had a pretty successful trip at Fort DeSoto. Now we're heading on our way to Pass a Grill. So we've made our way from over at Fort DeSoto to here at Pass a Grill. You can see the tide sucked out quite a bit already and we're not even at dead low just yet. So we've still got a ways to go. We can go all the way around here from the jetty, around the point to the other side to the dog beach and back around. Ooh, look, there's a calico clam right there by your foot. Oh yeah, the boxes, yeah. These are gorgeous. And I don't know if anybody noticed the size of that hinged uh, Sunray Venus clam that was over there. It was all crusty and nasty, but definitely can be cleaned. But you guys know me. I'm not afraid of crusty, nasty shells. Nope, not at all. I don't mind them a bit. What's this? Ooh, Dosinia. Gotta say, I'm a little poopy. Look at this. Nobody's got one of these yet, I bet. That is a buttercup lucine. Oh, yes. And look, I bet you this is another one upside down right here. Yep, not very yellowy, but still a buttercup nonetheless. That's a neat one. Base scallop, very nice. And keep your eyes open, um, especially as you get out here or over that way. Like, we'll start seeing uh, tulips and all kinds of goodies oh, and stuff. So now, before everybody splits up, you see that spot of dark water right there in front of you? Yeah. That is deep, that is current filled, and that will suck you out. Oh, yeah. So, if you're gonna get in the water, try to keep it, you know, no, big, no higher than your thighs if you can help it, because you do not want to get sucked out with the tide going out and the sun going down. Nice, nice sun ray. There should be all kinds of goodies all over this whole point. Hello. Hi, Tia. Are you here for the show? Yeah, I can nice. right here because I. Excellent. Uh, Welcome. Life gets in the way. I no problem. We got it. Did you see the picture? I did not. Oh my god. Oh, I want to see though. Um, I want to see. I want to see. Wait, not left Yay! Well, we had like 10 or 11 people show up over at Fort DeSoto, and I think we might get a few more that'll show nice. up over here too. Nice. I know, and I was snorkeling. That All right, fresh battery. Let's see if we find anything good on the beach. <gasps> okay, <laughs> look at the size of that Tampa Talon. Are you kidding me? These don't usually get this big, nor do they show up in one piece because they're pretty thin and pretty fragile. Let me show the light through there for you. What a lovely shell. And we have some of our core group of folks that was over at DeSoto with us, all out here in shelling. And a couple of more are expected to join us. So yeah, we're gonna have a good time over here. 
Ooh, that's pretty. They can't all be mass beaching days. <laughs> but don't forget to look on the shore because I just picked up a Tampa Talon and a really gorgeous scallop. So there, uh, there's stuff on the beach and in the water. Well, you can kind of work a circle and go around or you can go down and through the water and then make your way back here to the jetty up on the sand too. The tide's going to be going out until sunset. As you can tell, we're extremely uh, low already. We're heading toward negative now, so. Very cool. And keep your eyes open as you get further down here because there's some pretty cool stuff sometimes. There's another sailor's ear there. Just sitting in the sand. There's a nice sun ray right there for somebody. Who's looking for the sun rays, by the way? I mean, I just keep finding them. Oh, the size of that beast. Yeah, yeah they're, they're good size down they're here. Big, yeah. You just take your Dremel to that and clean that yep. junk right off of there. We didn't actually do our demonstration yet, but once we get done here tonight, hopefully it won't be too dark and we can do it. And then, um, John and myself and our friends Dan and Michelle are going to go over to the hurricane and get some food. They're only open till 9.30 so we'll have to be wrapped up and oh we won't be able to miss it. it sunsets at like 8.30 so look at that base scallop oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh it's a nice one. Yeah look in the mud flats. Look and because you might only see just a little bearish piece of something exposed. And Usually I find murexes and tulips here like crazy. There's an olive right there for somebody and it doesn't have a critter in it Even better All the ones we were finding up there at DeSoto all had critters I'm also going to tell you if you see a piece of a big shell, pull it out. You might find an enormous one here. I've seen people pull out whelks as long as my arm from right over there. Some of that stuff just gets buried in the, the sand and you might only see a little piece of it. Hey, a tulip. Yay. Not in the best shape, not in the worst. There you go, guys. They're here. Tulip. It's a banded tulip. Oh, a banded yeah. tulip. A little banded tulip. I have one right here. That's what those look like. Oh, that's so pretty. I find a nice. Good job. You guys should watch my YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel? I do. Too much is wearing the pants and turn our GoPro, see? And see that thing on the back of my shirt? It says Eshway Bijou. It's French for washed ashore jewelry. That's the name of my channel on YouTube. What you got, lovey? Oh, nice. You want it? Sure. Drop it in the bag. There's all sorts of stuff on this little beach over here. I, I do too. It's so cool. See what I'm wearing? I made all the stuff I'm wearing. Oh, that is worm snail. Nice. That's a on my worm shell. That's a worm shell. And I don't know how beat up somebody will take something home, but that right there is a cone. There you go. You take That's that. Cool, right? Whip. Nice. Oh, yeah. Auger or serif? Oh, that one's a serif. Serif. What's the difference? So you guys have seen me mention this book a number of times. It is my favorite shell reference book that there is out there. It's called The Guide to Florida's Living Beaches by Blair and Don Witherington. No, I'm not an affiliate. But uh, I do recommend this book highly to people. Someone asked what the difference between an auger and a serif is. Okay, here is what our common dark serifs that we find here all the time look like. Here are fly speck serifs that trick you into thinking they're rental traps once in a while. And here are augers. You can see that the auger is actually has a different texture 
It is more elongated. It is a longer and bigger shell usually than the Sarah by quite a bit. And it has these textured ribs on it. The color, the shape, and look, there's an olive. A big old beat up fighting concrete there. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff out here in this mud. Yowza. Oh, that's a little tiny scallop. That's really cute. And there's an olive and a piece of coral. There you go. If anybody's into the pen shells, here's a whole one. Oh, very cool. What do you do with those? These guys, usually I keep the nacre out of them. It's an egg cockle. Feel it, it feels like an egg. Right? Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, it looks like Oh boy, I just found my first one. Wow, he's a little discolored, but he's really cool. I was trying to tell you guys when we were at, at uh, Fort DeSoto how much more amazing this place is, but it's hard to describe until you actually get out here and see. Look, here's a chestnut turban. Oh, baby fighting conch, nice. And this one here, Buttercup Lucene. Here, have it. What you got there? Oh, that's a I saw it. little itty bitty worm snail. <laughs> and I think that one you're almost stepping on is a sailor's ear right there. Ooh, wait, why is it called sailor's ear? Well, pick it up, you'll see. It looks like somebody's ear. There you go. <laughs> oh, what you got? That is a piece of a genonia. A genonia. Yep, she just found a piece about that big of a genonia. Is that the most rare shell in Florida? It's one of them. It's one of them. Genonia is the most. It's not as rare as people think, but it's a deep water shell. That's why we don't find them on the beaches as often. Do you find one? Oh my God! There's stuff everywhere out here. That's a pen shell. Complete. That's cool, dude. Never find this. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I'm over there. Nice. And see where you're standing? Like you're on a pile of shells, and then there's this little divot over here. Yeah. Don't be afraid Let's to get in there and dig some of that stuff out, because you never know what is down here. Yeah, there's quite a current out here, though, right? Yes. That's why I said don't, yeah. don't swim here. Ooh, I like these. The purple mussels. These make me happy. I can't believe it. That is so awesome. Woohoo! Now you get why I took you to Pass a Girl first, or, or to Fort DeSoto first. If I brought you here, then brought you there, you'd be like, man. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> yep, piece of Genonia for sure. That's a tulip. That's a banded tulip. Look at that. Nice. That weird kid is alive. Yeah, he's alive. He's in there. Hello oh, to the it. critter. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my Let's god. see the critter. Isn't that a cool shell? An awesome shell. I oh love those. Oh, do you want to take a picture of them? I'll get it in my video. Nice find. Nice olive. Big old pen shell beach taco. Very cool. Nice scalp. <gasps> A baby apple murex. <laughs> All right. Yep, and it's empty. Sweet. I'm telling you, pass the grill, man. I call this place Sanibel North. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Oh yeah, there's like, look, there's piles up against the rocks, piles. Me personally, yes, I have found one. Um, uh huh. Found a full one. Here today, or before in the past? Oh, she yeah, she showed me the picture of it. Very nice. Nice scallops. Always good to have some young shellers out here too. That makes me happy. 
Look at all the people we got out here looking around for stuff. This is awesome. All right, there's some other crazy stuff up here in this rack line. What do we got? Got a nice little scallop. That's cool. An itty bitty, teeny, tiny little moon snail. And a bruised Nassau. Nice. A baby olive. Awesome. A huge button. Another baby olive. An auger. And a serif. And another button. Are you kidding me up here? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what that guy is. He's different. That looks like maybe a fly speck. Holy cow, there's cool stuff on this beach. Lots and lots of it, too. Oops. I dropped my auger. Pick him back up. Right on. Oh, hey. Got another auger bubble shell and look at that that is a white Atlantic simile amazing so cool <laughs> here I was just like <laughs> I was like a worm snail that's on my bucket list night complete all right I just oh. found in this rack line okay augers okay. a bruised NASA uh, yeah, white Atlantic semile, a either a papal cockle or purplish semile, a baby apple murex. Like, there's amazingly cool tinies in this rack line. If you get down and look, there's some good stuff over here. There, it is cool. Oh my god. I'm, I cool. tell people I call this place Sanibel North. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Sanibel North. Okay. I'm on it. Oh wow! Here's a little drill. Oh, how cool is this guy? Oh my goodness, he's. Oh, tiny. Isn't that cute? It doesn't matter. Shells are here always. Did you see my video from the mass beaching back in February? Yeah. Where we're standing it was yeah. this deep in sea urchins. Holy smokes, you guys. That. It was nuts. But yeah, there's good tinies in here, guys. All right, I got to take my sunglasses off so I can see. I know. I, it, it, I don't know. It's bad. Bad enough my glasses aren't working and I, I'm actually getting a, my vision done tomorrow and wow, yeah. new prescription for new glasses thankfully but yeah. that'll be helpful there's all kinds of cool tinies over here yeah. oh check it out nice piece of coral right there for you oh that's awesome there you go I would have never seen, I would have never seen that. let's see I found little olives there's a white Atlantic semile I found a bruised Nassau, like a paper cockle, like a little baby murex, a bubble, a uh, little tiny cool. moon. Right. There's the bruised Nassau down in there. He fell in, a little drill what shell. Is this? A little, little conch? A little horse conch? That's a little drill. A little drill? Okay. Yep, a little drill oh, shell. He's so, so tiny. I like the drill I hope shell. he makes it. I home. do too. They're amazing. They're so cute. Yeah, so this rack line over here is good in the, the tinies department. Yeah. And there's stuff all the way around over to the dog beach. Like you'll find stuff it's everywhere. It's unreal. It's, Pasa Girl's amazing. There's a serif. Wait, what's serif? That's one of these guys, one of these brown guys. Oh well, yeah, I find lots of them. And there's a little olive right here too. Those are really common. Look at these. Nice moon. I found a little baby one, only that big. You guys want to see it? Nice cone. That's a beat up old find, alphabet cone. Turkey? I find shark teeth too, yes. My cousin finds. Look at that. My drill, a little baby moon, and an apple murex. Oh, those are called apple murex? That's a little baby ram's horn and snail. Look at this one and that's a little baby bruised Nassa or Wentel. I'm not sure. Ooh, it's a little short for a Wentel. Rice olives, dwarf olives, yeah. This, I'm telling you, there's all kinds of cool tinies on this beach. You just gotta get down and look close. That's what I do. I love getting down, down, down. Ooh. That one was cute. Look at the shell I found. Ooh. Auger. And an auger. And another drill. And a serif. And another auger. And a worm snail. Coral, very cool. That's my favorite time. Oh, just a piece. 
beautiful though. Look at the color on that, man. Sunray Venus clam. Oh, I love mysteries. That's a little drill. Drill? Yep. Oh, oyster drill, okay. Cool. All right, here's a little unusual find for us. That is a corrugate jewel box. Don't find them very often, and they don't dazzle and amaze people, so a lot of times they get overlooked, but that is actually a really cool shell. Always cool stuff in the piles here. Size of that serif. <laughs> That's awesome. And there's a little tiny sun and Venus. I said, that's 125 times I had to bend down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that oh, I think so it might be either a, a drill or a baby lace murex. It looks wow. a little lace murex y. I'm not sure. It has that coloring for sure. It has the lace murex color, yeah. All right, into the tiny jar. Shells upon shells upon shells out here. And boy, that current is ripping. Okay. Oh, it's broken. Bummer. Oh, well, hey, that one might be a hole. Wow. <laughs> Look at the color of that Sunray Venus. A little crusty inside, does not matter. I'll clean that right off. Super cool. Another Sunray Venus, nice. And there's shell piles out here where the water's moving too. I don't want to get much deeper than my knees here because that current is outrageous. Oh, nice Nautilus, yeah. Take him. Cool Nautilus Florida Fighting Conch. He's been here a while, a little sediment discoloration, but that's okay. There's a nice Sunray Venus. And I thought I saw a calico clam, but maybe I didn't. See what I mean about the current? Huh? See what I mean about the current? Yeah, that's yep, that's what I told folks, don't swim here. Oh, Joe. Oh, and there's some really cute tinies on the beach up here too. I like conks, and I love my lightning hooks. You probably want to look around in the sand and dig around with your hands closer to the jetty because people have pulled some monster conks out of this place. Really? Monster conks, monster whelks. I'm talking like monster horse conks. There's a bunch of pieces of fighting conks in here, but there are smashed to smithereens. And uh, also, don't forget to look the rack piles up high and at the rocks too, because there's stuff all over on here. Ooh, I'll take this one. I don't care if he's discolored. This is cool. Fun. Oh wow, look at this guy. Wish I'd met him sooner, but still, I will cut that up in a heart heartbeat right there. Oh nice. The size of that monster. I found a little one. There you go. Right on. Somebody else found a piece of a genonia. Somebody found limpets, which I think are insanely lucky. I love limpets. I don't know why. They're just a dorky little shell, but they're like one of my favorite things to find. They make me so happy. I call them lucky because whenever I find those, I find a great smattering of other stuff usually too. Ooh, there's a pretty egg cockle. Nice. Ooh, what's this? 
Oh, that's a nice simile. Really nice simile. Cool. Who wants a beat up alphabet cone? Because that's what that is right there. No. I only like the good ones, man. That's an alphabet cone right there. These are in a little tough shape, but. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little sailor's ear. That's perfect for angel heads. I like that. Tinies, tinies, tinies everywhere, tinies. Oh my my. Here, kitten's paw, some cute scallops. There's a barnacle. That's awesome. Oh, and a sailor's hair. Nice. Let's get myself in the face with my keys. There's. Oh, it's only half of an olive. I was just seeing if there's anything cool in here that someone might have overlooked. Jingle. We'll take you. There's some insanely colored crossbar Venus up here. Look at the outside of that one and the inside of that. Dang. Those are nice. I just found a sand dollar out there. And there's just, I don't even know where to look first because there's so much to look at. Oh, nice. There's usually lots of those here. There's an auger and a chestnut turban and a seraph. Well, the auger's seen better days, but that's okay. He'll make a nice ice cream cone. Ah, did you come up with an apple murex? Well, let's take a peek. I am here for IDs. That is an Apple Murex. Nice work. And it's semi intact. It looks pretty good. A little bit of a barnacle. Pick it off. Heck yeah, you can get that right off of there. What do we got out here? We got a little fighting conch out here all by itself. Oh, it's in awful shape, but it's complete. And where there's one, there's probably oh, more. there's broken ones all over the place. There's got to be some intact ones around here someplace. Uh, not particularly, yeah. I don't know that it would survive the trip home. What do we got here? Oh, cute. Here's some little baby fighting conks. Oh, gosh, yeah. When you first find them, especially, they're very purple. Wow. Well, most of the ones around here, we get some green ones too, but most of them are pretty purple. Is this? It is an egg cockle. Another egg cockle today. Yeah, beautiful. I like those. Look at all the live ones you guys got. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, you got a live one too. Make sure you put them back before you go home so they don't die. You're my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> oh, awesome. I'm Alex Oh, awesome. Nice to meet nice you, to meet Mitch. Nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet my you. My son, Eli, he's 13, and my other one's out there with the smoke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would not let him swim out there. That current is insane. Yeah, he, he was in it today. It's it's pretty bad, and you don't want to get sucked out into yeah. the ocean as tide is going out and the sun is sinking. Yeah, I'll go back to Thank you for that information. But it'd be a little safer if he wants to go north of the jetty, and he should still find some stuff on the bottom, too. Nice well, thank you, oh, thank you. Cool, guys. Said all of them. So now you get what it is I do with my time. Two of them, thank you. I'll take those. <laughs> I told Michelle, I said, before we leave, you have to either find a wealth, an olive, or something cool. Okay, hold on. Here's your sailor's ear. 
Thanks, man. Oh, man. So we're gonna head out. Had a good time. Thanks for sharing. I'm very glad. It, it, it was good. It was good seeing you again. So we'll get it wet. Even, uh, even though it's wet. All right. Time. Now yeah. I just made these. Wait for like a week before you throw them through the wash because everything settles with the vinyl yeah, over a yeah. course of like 72 to 96 one, hours. Yeah. Nice auger, babe. Yeah. You guys want to go to Marco on a shell trip with us? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah? yeah. They bring you on a boat to an island and the shell piles are three inches thick. I mean, it's nuts. It's beautiful. Will do. What you got? Right there. There's an <laughs> yeah, olive. <laughs> Is it alive? Nope. There you go, Danny. Nice one. Wow, that's a nice one. Too. Sweet. Look at the crab. It's alive. Don't, it's really aggressive one. It's an aggressive one. Don't oh. touch it. It's aggressive. Oh, blue, blue crab. Oh. <laughs> that is a paper fig. Oh. Yeah, he's got a little hole in him, but that's okay. I don't mind that. He'll get used up in something cool with other things. What a beautiful day. Beautiful sunset here. I passed the grill. Folks are still meandering around shelling. Some have called it for the day. Some are still going. All in all, we had a great time. There's a really, really nice sunray Venus. Great color. How close? Oh my gosh, right by us. Oh wow. Oh boy, oh boy, there it is right there. That's so cool. There he is working in the current, looking for food. In South Carolina, when I lived near Hilton Head, they used to follow the shrimpers back into port and wait for them to throw the bait that was left over over shore. Just like a bunch of sea dogs, just like big old puppies. <laughs> it will. You throw that guy in some bleachy water and all that yucky stuff will come right off of there. He's gonna see these little. Oh, nice. A few people have found some little ones in here. I was poking around in the rack lines up there and found some cool tinies earlier, too. Right now, I'm hoping for a tulip or two, but... Oh, well, nice to meet you. What's your name? Kelly, very nice to meet you. I'm Mitch. We uh, are just down for our anniversary birthday trip, so... Right on. What's that? Yeah, me too. That hurricane's calling my name. I'm going to get some chow. What you got, honey? Oh, look at the point on that little fighting conch. That's nice. And a little whelk. Very cool. Nice. Is this a whole sailor's ear? Oh wow, a nice one. Boy, oh boy. Excellent. Trina, how's your foot? You okay? How's your foot? You doing all right? Yeah, I uh, put some waterproof band-aids on it and decided to just wear my tennis shoes. That's what John does. He doesn't even get beach shoes anymore. He just wears like sneakers. Yeah. He does better with them. So, yeah, I think it's
But even so, if you get them in there, they're still going to be Well, I mean, I've got these, but pieces wash in and they drive me crazy. Yeah. <gasps> oh, look! It's a little baby, baby whelk. Oh, adorable. So cute. Tinies make me so happy. It's not occupied. A oh, baby tulip. Wow. Nice work, honey. Awesome. Do you see him? How cute. Yeah, we can keep it. I live here. I can come here whenever I want. Now, before Ian, by the way, we would have been down about three feet. Those rocks used to all be exposed and you had to clamber up to get up to there. And now... Ah. Tentacanthus. Yep, nice find, dear. What's the common name for that? For the tinted cantharis? Just tinted cantharis. There's a tinted and there's a ribbed. See, I'm the young son star of the videos. I'm the one that puts all the You see John drifting in and out of the video a lot. Yeah. Ooh, nice docinia. You see me hobbling through and walking up and handling her stuff. Or sitting on a pile, pawing through it. I do love pile pawing. What you got there? Oh, cute, tiny fighting conch, honey. Very nice, very nice. I would say we're probably sitting at 8 o'clock right about now. I don't think we got much more sunlight left. So, did you find anything out in the water a little deeper? I didn't make it out there. I didn't go very deep. I found a couple of things. I, I found a couple of crabs. Found oh, a big cool. One. Okay, oh, I dug it up and thought, oh, good, it's a big, oh, no, it's not a big shell. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, spotted. I always thought those were dead shells, but the, it was alive. Oh, wow. It had that, that color of crab. You know, I've picked up some pretty awesomely big whelks just to find giant red hermit crabs in them. Yes. And those things are, like, if you find a big one, they're, like, the size of a lobster. They're huge. But we found some big ones, and we looked and didn't see anything. Clean them out. Put them on the um, bathroom counter, and all of a sudden I hear clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, they hide. You gotta check the shells pretty good around here too, because the, the little critters will inhabit them. Ooh, that current is changing. The tide's gonna start coming back in. You feel how much cooler the water's gotten? That uh, is refreshing. Got a calico clam here. He's a little crusty, but he should clean up, I think. Ooh. Yep. He will. Wow. Could be a quahog or a princess. It feels a little light to be a quahog. Cool. Nice scallop. There's some. There's some really good ones. And don't worry about the the other yucky stuff will come off with beach water. Or muriatic acid. There's a big olive. I didn't look too good at this pile earlier, but I should have because there is a little whelk. Little pear whelk baby. And there's another. I do the same thing. Awesome. So we still have a few people left down here. Things are starting to wind down. Some folks are starting to wrap it up. But all in all, a really successful shell trip. Oh, there's another talon. I love these guys. Super cool. Oh, I really wish you were in better shape, my friend, because you are a beast. What you got? Me? Oh, he was, John was telling me to come over there for something. Oh. I assume there's a critter. Holy Venus clam.
What did you got, babe? Huh? Why'd you call me over? I didn't hear you. Why'd you call me over? I didn't call you over. No, oh, I thought that was you yelling at me. No. My mistake. I want one of those things. Those look so fun. Oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, and I'm wearing sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. There's a nice sunray Venus. And a calico clam. Cool. Oh, look at this. Pretty pattern. Very nice. Yeah, the hurricane. We're gonna we're gonna peel and go to the hurricane so we can eat because we've been at it like all day. We left the house at like I don't know one o'clock. So we've been we've been going hard at it because we had to go get dog food, go get Dan and Michelle so they could follow us up. Ooh, pretty pen shell naker, yay. Love it. Hey, there's a little worm snail. Awesome. Hey, babe. I think I'm done. My back's killing me. Yeah, I think so. Sun's going down and we've had an excellent day at two beaches. Now we're headed to the hurricane for some dinner. And once again, thank you, Pasta Grill, the gift that keeps on giving. Everybody wave and say we had a great time at Come Show With Me. Woohoo! <laughs> we got all your show. <laughs> that is okay. I live here, I can come anytime I want. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So far it seems like the folks that did come had a really good time and I'm thinking about putting together a second one of these for the next full moon in August. It's called a blue moon because it's very rare to have two in one month. Not only that, but the blue moon in August is going to be a special one because it's closer to us in perigee than it is normally throughout the rest of the year. So the tide swing is gonna be even more so than what we had, and we're not gonna see another moon like this until like 2034 or something like that. So, I'm thinking we should capitalize on this. I was looking ahead at tide times, which they're not always the most accurate, but at least it gives me a ballpark idea of what I'm looking at a month, a month or so out for the tides. Now, the blue moon in August is going to be on the 31st, or on the, the 30th, rather. But you get tide swings for a couple days before and a couple days after you get that full moon, especially when it's closer to us like the August blue moon will be. And a quick look at Tide Times has said that we're looking at a low tide in the morning and... Um, well, and of course not everywhere, obviously, but I was looking specifically at Passa Grill and Shell Key, and in the morning that day, our low tide would be at 5.46 a.m., and personally me, I like to go to the beach first thing in the morning because nobody else has been out there and whatever shells washed in during the night should still be sitting there waiting for you, just as pretty as you please on the sand. 
So, I'm going to take a look at a few more details, a couple of different spots. Possibly we are going to do this again on August 31st in the morning, not in the afternoon. And I know that makes it a little trickier for people to be able to attend, especially if they have to drive to get someplace or anything like that. But you know what? We'll try it. Um, I'll have a few more details next week after I do a little more research and we get a little closer to the time. But right now, I'd like to say it'd be really fun to go out to pass a grill for a sunset or a sunrise. Because, boy, I've had some good luck there for sunrise. And even though it's summer shelling, we will find something there. Unlike some of the other beaches around here where you can find things in the winter and not in the summertime, Passive Girl is one of those spots where there's always something available. So tentatively right now, I'm looking at August 31st, which is a Thursday, for a sunrise shelling session. Wow, I'll say that three times fast. At Passive Girl at the Jetty on August the 31st, which is a uh, Thursday morning. And since the moon is going to be full the night before, we may even still be able to see it in the sky when we get there because it doesn't rise until like 10.30 that night or something like that. As it was, we barely got to see that full moon from this trip because it didn't come up until after all of us were on our way home. Um, so we didn't see it while we were at the beach, but man, I had a great view of it going over Tampa Bay and over the Skyway Bridge. So hopefully everybody got to see that as well. Look at that big old full sturgeon moon. Yeah. Thank you, Fort DeSoto, and thank you, Passa Grill. What a cool day. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who did come for the Come Shell With Me event. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And uh, it was great. It was great to see that people were interested and wanted to go on something like that. So I'm going to check a little bit into things, not only for uh, going to Pass a Girl and checking the tides, but we could go to Pass a Girl first thing. And then we could go to DeSoto, hop on the Hubbard's Marine Ferry, and go out to Shell Key. Now, the only thing with the ferry is it doesn't run until 10 o'clock in the morning. And since low tide is going to be, I want to say at like 5 a.m. or something crazy like that, um, if we got there for a sunrise session, rather, um, it would be, the tide would be on its way back in. So the, the tide is going to swing Usually it swings about three and a half feet and it's looking like it's going to swing about five and a half feet that day. And generally this will happen for a couple of days leading up to the full moon and for another couple of days after because the moon is still close to us. Even if we are putting a little shadow across us, it doesn't push it back any farther. It's still there. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look at some details and figure all of that out and I'll give you guys a definite update on that very, very soon. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us this week, and thank you extra special if you joined us on the Come Shell With Me event. It was such a great time, and it was so nice to meet everybody. So go ahead and drop a comment if you were there, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks so much.